Hey everybody, it's Lon Sive and it's time for another unboxing and today we're taking a look at the Piper Computer Kit. Uh, this we got free of charge from Piper at a show I was at the other day. Uh, it sells for about $300 and it involves a Raspberry Pi that's included with the box along with a number of projects that kids have to put together. Uh, so they're kind of building their own circuits, integrating with the Raspberry Pi's GPIO pins and learning how to programmatically do things, but also integrating hardware into the programs that they are writing. Uh, it's it's uh, kind of geared towards kids ages eight and up. Uh, and maybe I'll try to see if my six-year-old might have an interest in it as well. And we'll try to get all that stuff uh, thought out and looked at in the main review that you'll see soon at lon.tv. But today, we are going to just unbox it. Now, I should mention, as I said, this came in free of charge from the Piper computer folks. However, all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this unboxing, nor is anyone reviewing it or approving it before it is uploaded. And of course, all opinions are my own. So let's dig into this and see what is inside the box. Okay, so let's get the box opened up here and see what is inside. Now, it looks like they build everything, including the case itself. So this is a fun tactile and computer project. So it is screens and building here. Uh, so let's take a look at the low-hanging fruit here. The first thing we've got is a screwdriver, a little Phillips head screwdriver. So it's good you've got that in the box. Uh, we have the Raspberry Pi itself. Uh, this is an older Pi, but I don't think it really matters so much. This is the Raspberry Pi Model 3B. So this one is maybe two generations now behind the current one, the Pi 4 that we just reviewed recently. Uh, but of course, you can use other Raspberry Pis with this if you want. But again, I think for what you're doing here, uh, the Pi 3 is adequate for that. And I'm sure they'll be adding newer Pis as time goes on here. Uh, they also have a battery. This is like one of those lithium ion chargeable battery deals here. It's already got some charge in it, so you can operate it wirelessly or without a, I guess you have to have a wire, but you can operate it without a uh, outlet if you wanna go uh, without one. So that's an option there. Uh, in this box, let's see what we have in here. There's a lot of stuff in here. So this is where you can do all of your uh, circuits and everything. So you have some wires here to connect up to things. Uh, we have some USB cables and what looks like an HDMI cable. Uh, we have a little tiny mouse here with a retractable cable. That's kind of neat. So they're giving you everything you need here to get everything going, it looks like. And then you've got some additional cables here. This looks like an audio cable and a little speaker. Uh, there's a larger speaker here, it looks like, and a, I don't know what that is. I'm guessing some kind of mount for that. And there's a little breadboard here also that you're going to use for wiring up all of your stuff. So that's pretty cool. This is pretty neat, actually. And we have some additional brackets and some jumpers and a lot of other stuff. And I'm guessing they will tell you what all this stuff does uh, in the projects that you're doing. Uh, these are little buttons that you can attach to one of, the, one of the little things you assemble later. And then if you want to just power it off of a USB uh, adapter here, they've got one for you here in the box. This is a 2.1 amp, 5 volt charger and a couple more of these little breadboard things here. It looks like they have a sticky back to them so you could stick them to things as well. So that's cool. All right, so now we get into some of the other stuff here. Um, little note for parents. I think they have a version for schools. Yep, they do, <laughs> for educators. So there's a curriculum that you can get uh, for doing STEM stuff in school. They've got a little sticker here. Top secret, I guess we should probably open it because it's top secret. And it's giving you some things to do first to so go over to the Play Piper support if you need it. And they have a blueprint in here, I guess, to help assemble everything. So we've got that. We'll get into that in a minute. Uh, some other startup instructions here. So charge the battery pack, build the computer, connect to Wi-Fi. I guess they got two of these. And then the blueprint itself. This is kind of neat because it's like a big, wow, it's like a big poster. So look at that. I'll uh, cut my... And this will give you the, all the details as to how to put the whole thing together. So I guess the first step would be to build it, and then you can start working on your individual projects. So that is pretty cool. And I'm guessing you probably go online to get uh, some of the projects. So I'm seeing, okay, I see, actually, no, it looks like they're, you're doing a lot of the assembly of the breadboards and stuff here too. So pretty cool. And I'm guessing the projects, of course, you'll go online to get more information about. Now, the other neat thing with this, because you saw the front of the box here, it's kind of like an assembled computer with a screen. Uh, so they give you a screen here. I think this is a, um, I'm guessing probably a 720p display. I'm not sure what the resolution is on it, but it is got HDMI. 
So you connect it with that HDMI cable we looked at before. And it's got a speaker built in there too. Pretty neat. And it's got all these like wood panels here for constructing everything. Kind of brings me back to the Apple One days where you'd have computers, at least the cases of the computers, made out of wood. Uh, so we'll dive a little deeper into here. You can see all the different components that you have to put together. So what's fun about this is that, you know, there's some effort involved in just getting the thing set up, which I don't think is a bad thing. I think it's good for kids to start working with physical things and constructing stuff, and the blueprints will help you with that. Um, so you get a lot of these wooden pieces here for assembling all the things together. And we're not going to do that today, but I think I might do this with my daughter um, and see how she does with it. So it looks like it's kind of fun. Uh, so when you're done, you're going to have... Um, what essentially you see here on the box. And I saw this at a show. I'll, I'll integrate um, some B-roll uh, here so you can see what it looks like when it's all put together. But basically you got the Raspberry Pi, the battery, uh, the little button controller that you're setting up. You've got a box to store all of your extra wires and everything, and then the breadboard that you might attach out separately. So pretty cool. So um, I've got some work to do here. Uh, so what we're going to do is put all this stuff together. And at some point on the main channel, and hopefully not too long from now, we'll have a full review about all the different things you can do with it. And I'm really eager to see if this might engage my six-year-old who's starting to really develop an interest in STEM-related stuff. So we'll see if this piques her interest. And if it does, we may include her in the review so that she can offer her thoughts as we're going through everything. So that's going to do it for now on this unboxing. Look for a full review soon on the main channel at lon.tv. And until next time, stay tuned, and we'll get some more going on this. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, Mike Talbert, Brian Parker, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.